Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with the third episode in the adventures of Hans, level 15, Hill Org Fighter of Okavaru, who has just entered the Orcish Mines. Well, after the last episode, I feel rather positive about this character. We got this really nice plus 10 scale mail that allows us to blink and to slay, which is totally amazing. Also, Mm, we have a pretty good chance to evoke Blink now, and after we've got Blink and Invisibility in our evocation list, I think I will uh, increase evocation a bit higher. Maybe I'll also increase that up to 10, so we can use them pretty reliably. So, first shop, right here. But this bunching seems to be closed. Uh, usually on levels with closed shops, there is also at least one opened shop, so I'm looking forward to see if we can find that. Yeah, these easy orcs are really no problem for us. It's totally cool that we got this bonus damage. Mm. Accuracy and damage plus 6 for ranged and melee weapons, and uh, our uh, melee weapon is still... where is it, where is it? This plus 5 broad X of electrocution, which makes it practically a plus 11 broad X of electrocution, which is a deadly weapon. We can one hit the ogres, that's really good. Yeah, if you hear a cat screaming in the background, that's my poor little cat. Uh, I just had uh, <laughs> chicken wings for lunch, and uh, apparently it wanted to get something from the chicken wings, but uh, I was mean and uh, merciless and uh, didn't give it a single piece, and so now it's a bit angry. Anyways, that's life, that's life. Chicken wings are human food. Uh, Okay, done with the first level. Have, can we see all the downstairs? There's one. No, we see just one. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Oh, that's super easy here. We can just walk through there and uh, tap them all to death. Bottom level might be a bit tougher, but uh, the beginning, that's really relaxed. Six now. Ten percent chance for blink. I want to get that higher. I want to get that higher. Blink is such a lifesaver. I really want to use that reliably. Food shop. No, we don't need that. We got quite a lot of gold. So I'm looking forward for uh, for the forward to visit the the shops on the bottom level. Shiny plate armor. Hmm. Hmm. I take that with me. Maybe we can try that out. But could it be that be good for us? Maybe elemental resistance, whatever. Let's let's quickly check it out. It's magic resistance. Okay, well, why not? Let's just carry that around. If we have to deal with uh, lots of magic users later in the game, I think we might keep it. So first level is completed. So do we see all the downstairs? One, two, no, just two. So once again we have to check the upstairs to find the secret chamber. I'm a bit overwhelmed by the damage we do, that's really good. We didn't even enchant it to the maximum. Could get even stronger. Ox was four levels, wasn't it? Yeah. Once again a shop, but this looks pretty useless. <laughs> Invisibility is nice. Uh, I think that I will. Digging might also be worth buying. I'll put a mark on that for later. <laughs> also, the troll and the heavy armor orc are no problem at all. Donald, I don't exactly remember how strong he is. He looks extremely strong, but I think we'll just kill him. Nah, he can take a lot. 
let's let's cast heroism. That should make it easier. Yeah. With heroism, we've got uh, 24 access skill. That's really strong. A brightly glowing shield, artifact normal shield. That sounds interesting. Let's try that out. It is a plus five shield with resist electricity, minus resist cold, strength and intelligence. That's not bad. That's not bad, but minus resist cold is a bit bad because we don't have a source of cold resistance at the moment. Um, I'll keep that as a backup. Maybe if we get a couple of rings or accessoires with our uh, cold resistance, we might probably use that later. Yeah, two shotting the ogre, perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. <coughs> okay, now check the upstairs. Oh, not this one, but that one. <coughs> yeah, that's the secret part of the level. Yeah, the only problem at the moment are our resistances. I'm not feeling very comfortable about them. See that? We have got one point poison resistance, two point magic resistance, and that's everything. That's a bit less, uh, a, a bit little for my taste. Okay, bottom level. Let's see how we handle this. I think we should definitely be strong enough. Oh fuck! Stone giant, super damage. Let's blink away. Fuck, he throws this stuff. Uh, let's heal once. Heal wounds. Oh my god. Ah, stone giant. Mm. Fireball. Okay, take care, take care. We are not invincible. Stone giants with a couple of lucky hits can beat the hell out of us. Evocation goes one more level up. Good. Uh, I'll increase it to ten. I think that's definitely worth with the uh, with the cloak and the and the armor. And holy hell! How did he do that? That looks a bit like the final vault, maybe? Nah, or not, no, it's just a, a temple. Two trolls, no problem. Okay, and that looks pretty tough. Let's evoke invisibility and now fight. Invisibility is really good for such fights. Big troops, they just can't see us. They just stand around there and wait till we kill them. Nothing useful here. Nothing useful here either. And nothing useful here. Here is the final vault. That's it for sure. But I won't use invisibility again because we're still contaminated. I don't want to get heavily contaminated. Okay, heroism and uh Finesse. Now quickly kill this army of smiters. Whoa. This is a bit dangerous. Mace of Holy. I'll take the plate armor. Maybe that's something. Wait a couple of turns to regenerate. Yet another priest. How did they know we are here? Let's check out the uh, the plate armor. It's 
worth carrying around? No, no, only ordinary plastic free plate ammo does nothing. <coughs> not contaminated anymore so if it's a really tough level we can get invisible and slaughter everybody so many priests kill them both good kill him okay there comes the, the high priest kill him good easy Generate the hit points. Okay, level 8 now. 6% failure chance for blink. And uh, we've got a 2 uh, to 1 chance if we want to cast uh, invisibility. It's pretty cool. First, scout the outer regions here. We don't need magical chain armor. I think we don't need that. The war acts of chopping, that's usually not bad, but we've got a better weapon. So many priests, I rarely saw so many priests here. Glowing buckler, nope. Um, I think we didn't scout a uh, couple of squares in here. Maybe we can do that now. Okay, good. <coughs> Next org pack. Good. I was so secure and uh, so confident until this giant almost killed us a couple of minutes ago. That told me not to let my guard down. Okay, we're done. Let's check the shops. Plus three chainmail, resist poison, resist cold, resist magic. That's not bad. Um, poison, cold, and magic resistance. No, that's something, definitely. Uh, wait. Okay. Let's put that on the list. Scroll of Identify. It's the only thing here that's halfway useful, but nothing we really need. Blue shield. Hmm. Nothing here either. Potion of Resistance is yet unknown. Let's buy that. Ring of Teleportation. Book of Transfiguration. No, it's not a lot of good stuff here. Let's buy the Potion of Resistance. And let's buy the, the armor. everything these, these shops have to offer. So, let's go back up. I think we had more nice thing in other s shops here. Org 3, yeah, let's buy these wands. Yeah. Invisibility and digging, buy them. Good. And go back to layer 1. So, Org was pretty easy. Hindsight, no problem at all. So, but what do we want to drop now? I'll drop that plate armor and um, nah, keep resist electricity just in case we need that. Resist poison, we've got that from something else, I think, from the from the shield. Resist cold. 
Yeah, we can take that in case we need to use this code, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's draw rather drop the ring of ice. What do we have here? Wands, fireballs, still good. Teleportation, good. Uh drop the backup teleportation. Hmm. The rest is all pretty useful. Scrolls. Keep fog, measurement, teleportation, blinking, remove, curse, identify. We've got one identify, maybe we can use that later. And fair, I keep them all. And books, nothing here. What's this deck with the books? Potions. All look pretty useful. And finally, food. Okay, that's it. So, where do we can continue now? I think let's finish the dungeon. I don't think that we will meet a lot of enemies that can really threaten us here. Okay, but these guys, if the slimes all mess together, they can be pretty annoying. But it worked. Okay, we are almost at level 10 in evocation, by the way. Maybe after killing the slime? Yeah, now we've got it. Um, 3%, 28%, that's pretty fine for me. I think that's enough. What do we need next? I think I want to get fighting a bit higher. Yeah, let's get fighting up to maybe 15 or so. We need more hit points now, just to be safer. Enchant weapon, perfect. Plus six, three more to go. Yeah, in combination with our armor, that is practically a uh, plus uh, plus twelve electrolution broad axe now, which is epic. Ring of strength. Let's check if that's maybe better than ours. Ours is plus three. This is plus five. Nice. Let's drop the plus three one. Thirty-one strength. Play very slowly and carefully against giants. Shop. Scroll of teleportation. A scroll of blinking, definitely. Scroll of acquirement, definitely. Scroll of magic mapping, I think I'll also buy that. Yeah, that's everything we need. Maybe teleportation, because you can never have enough teleportation. So, read the scroll of acquirement. For armor. What do we get? Oh, a ruined hat. We don't have a hat. Plus one hat of intelligence. Okay. If you say so, take it. For the moment, better than nothing. Check. Yeah, it gives us one point of protection value. And we're done with this level. Get one deeper. I love our damage output. If we can get some rings for resistances now, then I would feel really positive about winning the game. Oh wow, that's a pretty tough band here. Fighting 12, good. And they're all dead. We took some damage. It was not without danger. Um, identify this scroll. Enchant armor. Uh -huh. Aha. <sighs> on the boots, on the gloves, I think on the gloves, or on the shield. On the gloves. First. First scroll of enchant armor. Really, really didn't find a lot of these. And 
some other games I found more, find more than I can use on my complete equipment. But in this game, first one on d13 after Lair and after Orc. It's good that we've got a nice supply of blinks. It's a nice little vault. Not a threat for us, but maybe some nice loot. Here's the entrance to the to the to the vaults. Okay, we will go there at one point. That's for sure. But not yet, not yet. Like to get a bit more strength before we do that. Hydra. I think we can just melee a Hydra now. Wait, A B. Okay, maybe I just should not take a risk. Just play it safe. Yeah. Heavily buffing ourselves and then fighting. <coughs> what now? Downstairs to D14. Giant, two shot. Yeah, these potions of resistance are really helpful, at least until. I still hope we find some uh, rings or amulets that give us a couple of resistances, artifacts. We had a couple of shops, but we were not that lucky in the artifact department. I, I will check if we missed anything. Um, the moment again, I feel pretty invincible. Uh, where is this guy? Okay, he's dead. Excellent. Potion of Might is super cool. This integration back up. And Azrael. That means we swap this for our Ring of Protection from Magic. And now kill them. And swap back. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Good. Got them all. And finally, down to D15, the last level of the main dungeon. Let's see that we quickly finish that. Can we just lay it? That we can find, yeah. We've got 14.3. I think we could reach fighting 15 uh, down here, which is pretty good. That's a couple of extra HP. Survival. Gift here, uh huh. 
the gift is a glowing war axe, but I don't think we need a glowing war axe. Here we get down to the depths. We don't do that yet. Soon, but not yet. Band of ugly things, they do damage, heroism, finesse. Now it should be easy. Yeah. That's usually my tactic. When I see that they can damage me, then I try to play it safe. I love our shield, it's really cool. Oh, we have fire. Fifteen point four. I'll increase it to sixteen, and then we can swap back to something else to train. I'll check the spells one more time. We got blinks by other means now. Animate skeleton would be pretty nice. So we've got a bit of a meat shield. Repel missiles would be pretty nice. Charms and air. I think I might go for necromancy next. We've got a pretty good skill in necromancy. Aptitude of zero. Book of Necromancy. Uh huh. We were just talking about it. Ah, uh, but I don't think we need the other spells. I think animate skeleton, skeleton is cool, but the rest is, uh, would have be a bonus gimmick for which we would have to put too many, way too many uh, points into that skill. Something attacks me, uh -huh. Does it still attack me? And we got it. Good. And we're done with D15. Go back to layer 1. Uh, check if we've got stuff to drop. I like maybe yeah it wants drop the wand for the lightning, the second wand of disintegration and the wand of fire and also the second wand of digging, drop them all. Food drop the bread rations and books, necromancy pots brilliance. Goals, amnesium, and recharging. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, what are we going to do in the next episode? We have got two choices, three choices pretty much. We could go to the depths, but I don't want to do that. Lack of resistances. We could go to the shawls, but we cannot fly. Or we could go to spider. At the moment, I tend to do spider first. But that's what we do in the next episode. So, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We're doing pretty well, I think. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you all again in the next one. Until then, bye everybody.